Once upon a time in a faraway land, there lived a stubborn king. The king did only as he pleased. When his servants would advise him, he would throw them in prison. People feared their king rather than love him. But the king had one strange habit. He would never take off his hat. He wouldn't take it off when he ate, brushed his teeth, and even when he bathed or went to sleep. So no one had ever seen the king without his hat. People wondered why the king was always wearing his hat. Is it because he is bald? Who knows? He may have a big horn. People imagined all sorts of things. However, there was one person who could see the king without his hat on. It was none other than the king's barber. Once a barber was called to the palace, he was never able to return home. So all the barbers in the land were worried that they would be called next. One day, a barber was called to the palace. The barber was scared and worried. However, he had no choice but to go. Because it was the stubborn king's order. The barber arrived at the palace. The king said to the barber, Now listen carefully. In order for you to cut my hair, you will have to take my hat off. If you laugh at what you see, you will be thrown into prison. Do you understand? Yes, your majesty. The barber trembled as he carefully took off the king's hat. But what was this he saw? The king had long and pointy ears just like a donkey. The barber then understood why the king never took off his hat. Think, the frightening and stubborn king had the ears of a donkey. Although the barber thought this was funny, he could not laugh, for he didn't want to go to prison. The king told him if word spread about his ears, he would be severely punished at once. The barber cut the king's hair and was able to return home safely. People were curious about what the king's head looked like, so they asked the barber. The barber wanted to say, The king has the ears of a donkey. But he did not say a word. He remembered how the king had threatened him.
However, the barber wanted to tell someone his secret so much, he could not bear it. All of a sudden, he found his stomach bloating. The doctor told the barber that the disease was caused by not being able to say what he wanted. The barber's stomach just got bigger and bigger. It seemed as if it would burst if it got any bigger. The barber thought of a good way to cure his sickness. That was to go deep into the woods and dig a ditch, into which he could say whatever he wanted. The barber went straight to the mountain with a shovel. The king has the ears of a donkey. The king has the ears of a donkey. As the barber shouted this into the ditch, his stomach started to shrink. After the barber got these words off his chest, he felt much better. From that day on, whenever he needed to say these words, he made his way up the mountain. Then he would yell into the ditch. So the barber was able to keep his promise to the king. One year passed, and it was spring once again. Sprouts started to appear in the ditch the barber had dug. And they quickly grew into a tree. A shepherd that had happened to be passing by cut branches off the tree and made a fight with it. To everyone's surprise, the fife would make strange sounds. The king has the ears of a donkey. The king has the ears of a donkey. People marveled at this and continued to play the fife. The king has the ears of a donkey. The king has the ears of a donkey. Word soon spread all throughout the land that the king had the ears of a donkey. The palace also learned of this too. The embarrassed king had the shepherd come to him. But the shepherd had done nothing wrong. He had done nothing but play the fight. The king thought carefully. He recalled that the barber was the only one who knew of his secret and summoned him. The barber told the king that he had not told a soul. But the king did not believe the barber's words. Now, everybody knows that my ears look like those of a donkey. I am so embarrassed and ashamed, I don't know how I'll ever go on living. Said the king to the barber. Your Majesty, Having big ears lets you hear better than others. It's something to be proud of. Having her 
heard this, the king felt much more confident about his ear than he thought. Why, of course. God has given me these big ears so I can listen to the people of my land better. The king said proudly in front of his people, Attention everyone! My ears are as large as the ears of a donkey. With these large ears, I promise to listen to what you all have to say and become a better ruler. The people of the kingdom clapped and cheered happily at what the king had just said. From then on, the king became more generous and attentive to the people of the kingdom.